to it. Wooden shield topped with buffalo horns to each his own. A new unknown sigil. It's incomplete, too. This research is just getting absurd. Oh, crap. A statuette with an empty gaze. It's almost reassuring when you see what passes for normal in the manor. Great. Coral. This egg is huge. It seems like it's hatched already a long time ago, hopefully. Great. Stuffed green woodpecker. At least the wood paneling is no longer risky, right? This feather seems to only be here for decoration. It seems this little museum wasn't intended for study. Okay, so we found a sixth demon, which is just horrifying. Ah. Oh, wouldn't the lens been there? A deliberate looking place for a simple box as a round hole. Open metal box fixed to a tripod. Completely scorched and I can see traces of powder. Here it is. Okay. Um... Give me the lens. Okay. Okay, so we found the final demon, but we still have so many more questions. <sighs> okay. The final floors of the manor and mother and father's bedroom. Boone didn't leave a trace here. It seems Annie took over this bedroom once she grew up. I'm not sure I would have dared to myself. Hopefully I can find her here. Another demon. He doesn't seem dangerous, but he might well be the most curious character I've met so far, and he speaks in riddles. He only guards the entrance to the attic, but I wouldn't be surprised if Annie has hidden something important there. Hmm. Feather, everything in its place, lost memories, and a beautiful photograph album. I'm overjoyed to come so close to the story that has escaped me. The last picture of the album is remaining. Why didn't I do that before? Put it in there. Well, at the time, it didn't matter because you couldn't go all the way there. Still don't know what seven's for. Well, oh wait, was it here? No, it's here. Huh. This is through trial and error of almost every small thing I can find. Screwdriver? Well, we already used it. Can we use it again? Are you serious? I missed your purring so much I just wish I could stay here forever and listen to it. But it also gives me the courage I needed and I must press on. Okay. So, oh, that's, hopefully that didn't ruin it. 
So, it was one of few things that we had to use twice. Can we go up here now? I'm cold. Oh, there's Seth. Where are you going? What's this? Keyhole, a lady in a dress, and stares to the moon. What the hell does that even mean? A matter and a family always together, always united. Many claim to be attached to their land, but how many clans can truly say their land literally flows through their veins? To be a part of its walls. What exactly am I looking for here? The fact that I can even circle these is weird. I'm gonna go and read them. Deserve to know our story. I think pride would be part of that. Maybe not gratitude, because gratitude's there twice. Did you say ambition a couple of times? Ability? Okay. Is it some kind of mantra? Repeating these three words in my head helps me see more clearly. Thank you, Seth. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, he's going higher. Why are we still going up? How tall is this place? Oh, well, I think he's done. Whoa! How tall is this manor? Finally, I can breathe a bit more easily. Seth, are you still here? Seth? No, I think he's used up all of his, uh, spiritualness. Here's Annie with a young boy and a man I don't know. Her husband? My brother-in-law? I can feel a presence approaching. Gabriel must have adopted this object. Hello, Gabriel. You haven't been very welcoming, and I can sense that you're still not at peace. Oh, neat! Dear Gabriel, scientific and rational on the outside, but so sentimental otherwise. We only become complete with all our memories and actions, a thing to remember, I suppose. Oh, that's the missing... Okay. I've, I'm sitting here thinking I had to find, like, an actual photo, but they did mention that it was a an actual... oil painting or whatever. Okay. We've got Edward Gabriel. Annie's got this. I don't know if that actually counts as her thing. So we still need Roberts. Or uh, not Annie. Um, Alexander. I gathered Gabriel's memories and made them whole once again. Our parting was bitter, but his anger has subsided. The laboratory hasn't changed, but the shelves are full of different products. Okay. Feather. The lost boots. Oh, okay. Okay, so the feather is linked to one of the boys. It has to be. But I have to find the other piece. Robert is the binoculars. I gotta go back and get the case. Thank you. 
Should create the flash, right? Why is it purple? That is definitely weird. Now this pattern, I'm sure I've seen it before in the manor. Yeah, isn't this the symbol thingy that one thing wants? It's not the paper, though. Dang it. The first step to knowledge, where studies find the light, where statues find refuge. Why do you have to speak in riddles? I don't know what the purpose of doing this was for. Ugh. Oh, just more questions. Okay. And I have come to the conclusion that I now have excess stuff that I don't know what I'm supposed to do with. And they're not in this room. We now have a feather. We have an empty binocular case. We have this tube that I have not yet figured out how the heck I'm supposed to open. Um... There's a couple of notes I know that I never managed to figure out. Oh, wrong thing. Like the one in the bathroom mirror. Where'd it go? Because I don't know if that's a different language or what. It doesn't make any sense. And so I'm wondering if maybe I'm missing yet another piece of the puzzle. Oh, all right, I'm going to take a break from the manor. Let's go to Oak Marsh. Well, let's take this stick back because, you know, I don't think that was supposed to, I don't think I was supposed to bring that here. Oh, that didn't glow before because we didn't have this power. Okay. Oh! And there's a secret passageway? Is this some sort of underground shelter? Who would settle down in this cesspit? I don't Water most likely seeped in from the openings. It must have been stagnating for years. The wolf. I imagine that must smell nice. <clears throat> What's this? Shopkeeper used to keep a logbook. Maybe I'll find some clues there. Uh, strange silence surrounding the manor. 
was fetching wood around the forest when suddenly all the animals went s quiet. At dusk. Most uncanny, that's for sure. 16th of November. Rumors of bombing in Coventry curse them. I hope they don't turn their attention to an isolated place like Oak Marsh. 21st, a woman came by Stanford's and left a few minutes later. She looked like she was in a hurry. I feel ill at ease when she's around. You never know what she thinks, even if she's looking straight in the eye. The less I see of her, the better. 2nd of December. A young Blackwood came today. Alexander, I think. He wanted to... Re oh, rent. Looks like an S. He wanted to rent the flat behind the shop. An old storage room and a stable aren't much, especially for a, a well-bred child. But it's more money in my pocket, so I said yes. He seemed normal enough, but I'll keep my eyes peeled. 15th. Lights over Blackwood, and they were no Christmas decorations. Or bombers. I swear I heard screams coming from there. They echoed across the whole valley. I'm still shaking at the thought. Merry Christmas. 25th of January. Going near the manor always made me anxious, but now it's all the more terrifying. I can almost hear whispers coming from the wall. Something haunting like a, a word repeated over and over until it sounds strange in one's mind. You can still hear it. It was something like... M... Infagor? Inf what? M what the hell? Infagor. E M F I G O R? It never stops. I felt the air shiver and the roof shifted. I ran back to the village shouting at the top of my lungs. That settles it. I'm closing my shop and I will never leave here again. 28th of January. Emma and George are leaving. They will be leaving their daughter here, though I don't really understand why. I suppose she wants to stay with Alexander. I think they're right. There's nothing else that can be done here. I should leave too to visit my boys in London if they haven't forgotten they have a father. Hmm. It's inhabitant brought books. Lots of them. Ooh, where does this lead? Really? That leads up to here. <clears throat> okay, well that solves the riddle of the stick, but that really didn't do much outside of that. It just gave us more information on what happened, really. Okay. Uh, damn. Okay. Well, I had a thought. Since we, I ended up taking the stick away from the well and brought it back and there was a glowy stuff, I wondered if maybe that would work with the pen. That does not seem to be the case, though. Oh! I lied. We I think we freaking found it. How come I didn't see these scratches? My treasure... Are you serious? After all this time, I never went up. I could kick myself right now. What you guys don't see is I have spent hours doing this. A ball of string I used in my mini adventures, some dice I could use to play with anywhere, something to write with even in the darkest darkness of night. This isn't mine. I'm sure I didn't draw this. Is it a sigil? It looks like those that father studied, but none of them was called Abigail. Is this... If this is a joke, it's not a very funny one, and I'm starting to get scared. There's no one here. Everything seems to be frozen in time, and the manor is covered in 
esoteric symbols, I must find answers. I have a feeling I was supposed to find that in the very first couple of episodes, and that never happened! Urgh. Yeah, 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 stop. Okay. What is this? No, not that. This. My old treasure box remains intact, but I wasn't expecting to find it here, and with a mystery with a mysterious item added to my own collection, no less. A sigil, similar to those of the Goetia, but with my name on it. This item, what it suggests, terrifies me. That should make perfect sense, though. Honestly. Ugh. I mean, shoot, your cat is stuck here, okay. There was a case hidden inside this cuckoo clock. I'm sure that this must belong to the binoculars. I have loved to watch the birds at the edge of the forest with something like those. I feel like I understand Robert. I know it's that I'm supposed to be taking. Why can't I fucking take it? Oh, am I supposed to... Really? That was so stupid! Okay, I knew that the journal that we got that shows the picture of our most recent demon had these bits of paper in the back. I kept clicking on them in the journal section thinking that's how I was supposed to take it. I totally forgot that there's an actual suitcase that you can pick up. Oh my god. Alright, let's... Figure this out. I'm feeling these are not going to fit properly. Not really, anyway. Two hours later. Literally, that was all based on luck. By no means that makes sense. I would say the most irritating thing about that particular puzzle is that you keep putting them down and it'll make the noise like it's actually sticking. But it's not right. Unless you get the Ding. Whatever. Is this your opposite sigil? Thank you. God almighty, a, hunt a human face. Is it stuff too? That would be... No, that's impossible. Oh, so that's it? Okay, what's in the attic then? What's that noise? It's coming from the room below. Oh lord, do I want to go down? Goodness, this violin is breathtaking. I'm sure Alexander must have crafted it. I can feel his passion and his anger. If I can't take it out of this room, there's no point possessing it. Oh, bite me. This old heart must have been in the attic for even longer, judging by the thick layer of dust covering it. This furniture is mine. Two old relics. The lights are aimed so that they only light up the trunk. The setup makes me feel ill at ease. Hmm. Alright, let's go check the noise downstairs. What? Yeah. 
you. Suddenly, changed here. Something. I heard a noise coming from this room. Did I make something change here? Three, just like us, three objects moved. Find them. In the room? A butterfly tilted. Oh lord, I didn't memorize everything in here. I can get the violin now. Sweet. Give me that. Alexander, I moved in touch to make your acquaintance even though we cannot speak. Sweet. Nostalgia and solitude. Rejection and anger. Your soul echoes in this violin, Alexander. I don't think that's his, though, is that it? Nope, that's the note from before. Okay, so we've most likely still got to find the second thing for this. And Robert... Oh my, stop it. We still haven't found his. <clears throat> that violin is a sublime instrument, but no one can play it without its bow. I'd like to hear the end of this melody, and for that, I'll need to find the hidden bow. Maybe I could find some clues around his bedroom. Alright, Alexander's bedroom. Here's the pattern that was projected in the library. I didn't expect it here. And the tile's loose. Are you serious? The binoculars were here the whole time? These are no ordinary binoculars. I can sense a powerful force when I come into contact with them as if they were imbued with Robert's personality. Robert, don't be scared. I'm here. You really helped me and I'll keep searching. Don't worry. I already know where the case is. Oh, it's already got the case. Okay. What did you discover by watching the Blackwoods, Robert? Put your questions aside and all and all you will find is answers. What's this? Answers to all my questions are near, I can feel it. If I dive into this basement, I will not be able to go back. Dang it! Because I need to find the bow for Alexander. Alright guys, I'm going to go on a massive hunt, we're going to find the damn bow, and then we're going to go in, because, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, are you freaking serious? <sighs> oh my god. <sighs> this took forever. <sighs> so I finally figured it out how to open it. You need to go two right, four left, and then three right. But I've never actually opened something like that, so I didn't know that it, you didn't have to reset it every time. You literally just go... One, two, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. Ah! Alright. So this should be the bow, right? A lonely bow with no instrument to play. I wonder where it is. We already know where it is. Oh, what do you think? I can feel the nuances more keenly. This bow could free the imprisoned notes. Okay, I think, I think we've got everything right. The instrument is now complete, and now Alexander can finally play the last notes of his lament, but it won't truly put him at rest. I think 
pretty sure that's everything. I don't know. Okay, let's go in. Ooh. I had dozens of questions, but all I found were mysteries. Four souls, four objects, and no trace of my close family. I want to find answers. Some kind of meaning to all this. I hope my search is close to its end. I feel so tired. Branch after branch, a summoned tree, the tree of flowers, sawn piece by piece and burnt in the fireplace. How do I know this? The candles in the chapel. Yes, Anton must have donated them. The Abbey too? This photograph calls to me. Are we finally gonna figure out what the heck happened? I have gone so far to feel so close. Every detail of this face speaks to me as if every feature had been carefully chosen. Mother, may you finally rest in this place. Wherever I go now, I will never forget what you have done for us, nor the things we have seen together. Your devoted son, Gabriel. Grotesque influences in Romans, just like in history books, Father used to say that Blackwood had been built on ancient foundations, but this, I'm deep below the estate's grounds, these paintings are wonderful and soothing. Oh, who is this? Abigail's Diary, page upon page of our childhood memories written with solemn care, Abby, Abigail. A massive, magnificent tombstone. Gabriel chose it. He chose it for for me and this body. I'm... What? Oh my god, that's... Holy shit, there's Malthaeus. Young lady, or madam, should I say. I see you've managed to find the answers to your questions all on your own. I must admit, I haven't had this much fun for a long time. So much wandering, always wandering. Now do you finally understand? Enough! Enough! Shut up, bird of ill omen! You're driving me mad. You may be right. Come now, rejoice! You have succeeded. And this body here? Ha! A distant memory. You have triumphed over death, Annie. Yes, I'm keenly aware, but I don't see my sons where am I must- Oh my god, she's not Abigail, she's Annie. Where are my sons, Malthus? I dare say I liked you better as Abigail, madam. You were nicer then. Well, I suppose your temper is part of your charm. What would you give me in exchange for an answer? You know everything already, Malthus. You've always known, always been there in the manor's walls to spy on my every move. I would not insult you by tendering secrets you already know. Oh, the resignation. I can almost see you bowing down before me. Ah, now this is pleasant. I like your answer. You have succeeded, Annie. Your sons are safe. They abide on both sides of the veil and seem rather happy with their lot when I happen to visit. I even think I saw Gabriel give a faint smile the last time. And yet I fear that there is a slight problem concerning you. What's more, I should have joined them. Yes, you should have. But you were presumptuous. Truly, your greatest shortcoming. You thought about Abigail so much during your research, and when you died, you put so much of yourself into Blackwood Manor that you went astray during the last ritual. You are no peaceful soul, Annie. You'll never be able to reach them. Of course. Alexander knew. I should have. Can you put that heart, please? Just for a second. I should have listened to him and gone on with my research, but we were so sure. Mankind was not made for this, Annie. Mankind is here for one purpose only, and your selfish demands for eternity are beyond your reach. But you said I succeeded, Malpheus. My sons are forever happy and safe. You cannot deny that. Oh, Annie, Annie, Annie. You are wrong. 
you bound your sons to objects, objects that will one day crumble to dust. Do you think their souls can survive disintegration? You thought so, but you never knew for certain. How long do you think Blackwood Manor will keep people at bay? It is the embodiment of their fears, yes, but what does fear incite? Revenge, retaliation. They will demolish its walls, scatter its contents, burn what's left. You spent so much time studying us, Annie, that you forgot to consider mankind. You forgot your kind, your place. Farewell, Eddie. I cannot keep you company any longer. Other souls in search of answers await, and I must confess, I'm simply itching to see if any of them suffer from a madness that exceeds your own. My sons will live forever, Malpheus. Forever, no matter what you say. I will never give up. Never, you hear me? Never, you bird of ill omen. Malpheus? Malpheus, come back! I can do much more. I can go beyond my research. Carry it on. Exceed your expectations. Malpheus! Is that really the ending? Is that a good ending? What the heck happened? Huh! That was a really trippy ending. That took us forever to get to, though I'm not sure if that's a good ending. I don't know. We have not finally found the truth that this whole time Abigail was actually Annie. That's really fucked up. Like, hardcore. Oh my god. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. The twist was amazing. The game itself, hours upon gameplay, the puzzles were extremely fun, but incredibly difficult on certain ones, especially if you are not musically inclined, like myself. Um, so those were a bit hard. Um, I, I don't know if that's the, a good ending. I'm gonna look into it and see if maybe I missed something, but I'm pretty sure I got 100%. Because so I do recall seeing somewhere, I think it was on the community page, that this actually has multiple endings, so if we got the crap ending, this is gonna suck. <laughs> I'll definitely look into it though. Okay. So it's possible I just missed an area somewhere, but that is the good ending. Uh how you get the good ending is is you have to find all of the items that the sons are attached to and the secondary items that are used with it. Like the train needed the wheel, the violin needed the bow, so on and so forth. That's how you get the good ending. If you complete the game without getting all of the bits for the suns, you'll get the bad ending. I'm kind of tempted to figure out what that last thing is, but I'm going, no, I kind of don't want to either. Because <laughs> it could just be one little hole somewhere in the wall that I probably missed. Oh well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to like, fave, subscribe. I will see you in the next episode.